So welcome back aliens. I'm Navin Reddy from Thursco Learnings and till now what we have seen is how to create object in Kotlin and how can you integrate with Java code. In fact, we have also converted this code from uh, from Java code to Kotlin code, right? If you remember, if you write a Java code, you can easily convert that into Kotlin code just by going to this menu and click on this convert Java file to Kotlin file. Now, since this is already a Kotlin file, you don't have to convert it again, right? That's why we are not getting the, that option there. So if you look at this first code here, we got this code, right? And if you look at alien.kt, we got a Java class and that makes sense, right? We normally in programming, especially in Java programming, we write classes. When it comes to the Kotlin code, which is main method here or main function, and you can say that a function, right? You can see there's no class. I mean, how is it possible to have, I mean, to not have a class here? That's weird, right? So the thing is, uh, Behind the scene, when you convert this file, it actually creates a Java Java class for you. I, I know you will not trust me, right? You need a proof here. How can you prove? How can I prove that when you compile this file, it gets converted into a Java code, or it 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 will be converting itself into a byte code, which will which will represent a Java code as well. So to prove this point, what I will do is first of all I will run this file. Okay, let me just run this code once. Once you run this code, you can see we got the output as Naveen here, right? Uh, so that's your output window. Now, once you run this file, it creates a class file, right? So this, this is where our projects are. So if I go to demo and inside this uh, out folder inside which we have production, then we have demo. And this is the file which we have now created. As you can see the time now, it is 10.55 a.m. Uh, this is the file which is just created and this is a .class file. So the main file, I mean the the source code was .kt, the, the file you're getting here is .class file, right? Now, can we just decompile it? Again, uh, many people, I mean, if you don't know, we can actually get the source code of a class file, not the exact source code, but then maybe you can say 95% of the source code. So normally when you convert, when you compile your Java file into a class file, you cannot go back, right? That's what we have learned. But then there is one way you can do that. So again, there, there, there's, there are some tools available one of the tool is going to this website. So the website name is javadecompilers.com. In fact, I was knowing up, I was not knowing about this before. I got to know from one of my student uh, two years back that we can actually decompile the Java code. So let me just click on this uh, choose file here and let me upload that file. So I will go to idea projects where I have all my projects. I will go to demo inside that I will go to out production demo and that's your file there. So we got first code kt.class. If I open it, uh, you can see uh, it will ask you for upload and compile. Let me just do that. It's uploading now. And uh, till that time, you can see those weird ads there. Okay, so you can see we got our file and it is converting into a Java file. And if I download this, let me just open this thing. Can you see that we got the source code here? Now the file which we have compiled is a uh, it's a Kotlin code which which is compiled to a class file and from a from, from a class file I'm getting a Java code back. So what we, whatever we have written there, if you remember, we have written something like this. We were printing, uh, I mean, we, we we were creating object of alien, right? Which is getting created here. So we got alien telescope equal to new alien. Now there's one more thing. If you see the source code there, let me let me just compare these two codes. Uh, you can see we are putting semicolon here. The amazing thing is in, in Kotlin, we don't have to put semicolon because semicolon is optional. And even if you put the semicolon there, uh, in, in your IntelliJ IDE, you will, get an, uh, you will get a warning here, which is redundant semicolon because by default, your Kotlin will provide you semicolon while you have to put one more semicolon there. So you can see we're, we're getting all the semicolons by default. Now, okay, so oh, watch this X. Oh, that's an extra thing. So yeah, so we got this alien alien telescope equal to new alien, right? This this is what our code is. So even if you don't mention oh, what I'm why I'm typing X every time. So even if you don't type alien here, you, you're saying in Kotlin we are saying var telescope equal to alien. In in Java code it will be converted into alien telescope equal to new alien. Then we are setting the name of the alien and and. See this, we are using a equal to operator here in Kotlin and in Java, when it is getting converted, it is using a set name method because in Java, we always use setters and getters to set the values. Okay, then we are fetching the name. Again, while fetching name, I'm not saying, okay, you can see it is converted into two lines. When I say telescope.name, 
it is creating a temporary variable and it is, it is printing that variable. Again, I, I, as I told you, this will not give you the exact Java code, but then it will give you the around stuff. But you got the point, right? Your your Kotlin code, when you compile it, it, it will give you a class file. And, and I mean, indirectly, you're getting a Java code. So Kotlin is nothing but a better Java, you know? So in, anyway, if, even if you're learning Java or Kotlin, you're learning Java. Okay, so, and there's one more thing you have to observe. We got a class and the class name is first code KT because that's your, that's your file name. And this is a final class. That means you cannot extend this class with any other class. I, again, when you want to extend, of course, you have to create a class separately in Kotlin. And yeah, so this is how you it's get converted. And you can see we also have some annotations here, uh, which will not talk about this now. So yeah, so we have all this. So that's how you convert a Kotlin code into a class file and then you can decompile it. So yeah, that's it about that's about this video. Uh, in the next video, we'll talk about strings. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching and do subscribe for further videos.